Hello everybody, welcome to Builder Buy. Doing something a little special today. I've got a notice up there, if you would please subscribe. Uh, my name's Gil Boyd, welcome to Builder Buy. We meet every Wednesday from one to three. Um, most Wednesdays, not every Wednesday, but almost every Wednesday. And I'm the co-host of Builder Buy. My other co-host, uh, Joe Winry, is not here because we're going to do something special. We're going to do an unboxing of an HP laptop, the one we talked about in the previous video. It's an HP Envy. And uh, as I talked about in a previous video of three different models, it's the one I think that's bang for the buck. The deal at Costco, the HP Envy 17T. The particular model number on that, I'm going to show you some more details. The HP Envy 17T is this particular laptop, Costco laptop, which is the HP Envy 17-U275CL, the product specifications. That's on the edge of the box. I've been wanting to know the exact model number, so if you take that information, you go look it up, it'll give you some idea of uh, exactly what we're talking about if you like to compare. This is bang for the buck. And we're going to do an unboxing on this particular laptop. Okay, that's the laptop we're going to be working with. It's got a seal on the top. I'm going to lift this box up. I'm going to cut the seal. Now, I've already, I've already taken the wrapper off this box. I've got one ding on the edge of the box. This was made in China. You can see one ding right here on the edge where it took a pretty good lick. But this should be pretty well packed. And I've got a seal here on the back, so I'm going to break that seal to open this up. In the previous video, we described this as a bang for the buck. This is also the same laptop that uh, Manolo has purchased. I think Manolo is going to get a lot of good wear out of this. He's been looking for something new. We're going to take this out. Packing material. Looks like it's well packed. I'm going to reach inside and pull the first piece out. Nice big 17-inch display. Take the packing off the ends. The box has some more stuff in it. But I'm going to go ahead and take the packing off the ends of it. Move that out of the way. It got the end plastic. It's got a bag on it. HP seal. Nobody else has messed with it since it was manufactured. Across the back, HP Envy. But if you'll notice here on the left side, there's the Kensington lock. Here's the network port. Little door that it flips down. And we got two USB ports. Uh, usually they're color coded on desktops, but on laptops they're not color coded, so I expect those to be USB 3. Right here is the burner built into it. Most new laptops don't have a burner. This does. 17 inch display. We'll look at the front. No controls there. Before we open it, let's take a look at the ports on the other side. There's the power port, a light for it, and we have another USB port. Here we have HDMI. That's for the video. Here we have an SD port or SD card reader port. There is our USB 3.1C port. And then the next port, that right there is for headphones. So we're going to Set this aside for just a minute. Let's pull out the other parts in the, the left box. side. This should be our power. We've got a battery up here I used to tilt that with. So I'm going to get that out. And keep track of all this plastic. So you get got your good old standard three prong that goes into the brick. Three prong into the wall. And it's got its own cable tie. We'll set that aside. And the last thing in here, some documentation. We'll get all that out. And that's interesting. There's a special flyer from Costco. Exclusive for members, free technical support for any computer purchased at Costco, both in-store and on the Costco website. Expert technicians, troubleshooting, all calls handled by service reps, English and Spanish. The service is provided exclusively for U.S. Costco members. Pretty nice. Yes, I'm a big fan of Costco. That's where this came from. It was the best bang for the buck. Setup instructions, that shouldn't be too complicated. And a little document here about HP technical support. So we'll set those two aside. Here is a document, questions about the product, a barcode, connect with HP support. Those three pieces we'll put together. I'm going to move the box out of the way. Now, whenever you buy something new, especially like a laptop, while you're trying to figure out, first of all, if it's going to do what you want, and if you're going to keep it, and make sure things aren't broken. Keep all your packing material. You should keep it for at least 30 days. 45 would be safer until you're uh, absolutely sure you're going to keep it because if you need to take it back you're going to have to have that packing material otherwise that could be a problem since you uh, since we got this costco every experience at costco has been uh, stellar so i expect this to be the same and i don't know how long this picture laptop is going to be available it's something to take advantage of hb envy so that's what we're getting ready to take a look at and we've got our sheet on setup instruction okay the quick setup says number one plug it in number two turn it on and then number three, go wireless. And then a quick tour shows uh, the buttons we went through uh, on the outside for all the ports. And uh, the quick tour show when I, when I open this lid what's on the inside. Let's take a look and keep going. We're going to go ahead and uh, plug this in. And this is the laptop we're working with. And that's the HP Envy for $800. And the power tap on this, I'll show you right quick. If you'll notice, it's a, an angle, which uh, I think is a good idea instead of a straight. So that's at an angle. So that we're going to plug in, but I'm going to plug it into the wall. It has a pre-installed battery. Before you press the power button to turn on the computer the first time, make sure the AC adapter is connected to the computer. First thing we're going to do 
number one is attach the two pieces which we've done number two attach it to the wall and then number three i'll bring that up to you a little bit where you can see a little bit better plug it into the laptop and then the third thing is once it's plugged into the wall plug it into the laptop and oddly enough the cord on this is kind of short to the brick but the cord from the brick to the laptop has a nice length to it so it's not too bad i found an outlet i plugged in and i'm getting ready to plug in the laptop on this side with the angle plug right down here i'll plug that in now we're going to open it up and there's a little piece of paper in there or a little cloth material that kind of protects the laptop we're going to pull that out we've got a light showing that we have power so i'm going to turn this around and let you see it you can see that right down there there's a little red light shows we have power right there we plugged it in there's the little red light keyboard looks pretty good i like the size of it I like the size of the pad uh, for me, I'm going to probably plug in an external mouse. Okay, let's power up. And it's just that simple. That's the unboxing of the HP Envy 17T laptop. And then we'll go the next step of uh, getting it configured. This has Windows 10 Home on it. There's a good chance we might go to Windows 10 Pro. But there's also a good chance that we might take that laptop into uh, Windows 10 Pro on a new uh, hard drive. Whether we put in a new uh, spinning drive or an SSD, that remains to be seen. Uh, what I'll do is interrogate this drive. I'll put it up on Bell Arc Advisor so it can tell me exactly what's in here. I need to double check the specs now that I know the model number and uh, see what we can put on the inside. If it'll only take a, uh, uh, a SATA drive, then it's either a 72 RPM or an SSD. I don't know if it'll take an M.2, but uh, since it didn't come with one, it's probably not built into it. Here we are coming up on the HP booting up for the first time. Now if we want to increase uh, performance to uh, boot faster then that would be definitely the reason to go. Remember this is a spinning hard drive. That would be the reason to go to a uh, SSD. Good looking keyboard. It's got a little bit of a backlit. You can see the LED kind of has a blue cast, bluish white cast to it on the LED. I don't know how well it shows up on the camera. Uh, Windows is coming up now for the first time so it's going to ask me to log in and it's going to want me to create the user experience. It's talking to us. Okay. I'm going to mute it. We're going to plug the converter in. We're using a decimator MDHX or an MD cross, either one. The only other thing is a network connection. We don't have a network connection to it yet. So we're going to plug this in. And there we have it. We have signal number one. So instead of having you see it from uh, camera number two or camera number three, which is our best shot, we can go to uh, input number one. And as I stand here in front of it, now I can talk to you about it. Okay, I'll go ahead and say yes. USA, just a moment. So it's going to go through and configure. Is this the right keyboard layout? Yes, USA. English, Scottish, Gaelic. Well, that messed me up. So I'm going to say yes. Do you want to add a second keyboard layout? I don't really see the need for it, so I'll skip it for right now. And we are going to the next one. And again, I've muted the audio. Here's EULA, good old EULA. You got to accept it where you like it or not. EULA from Microsoft and another end of the EULA. So I'm going to say accept like I have a choice. And again, this has Windows 10 Home. So it wants to connect. I do not want to connect to any of these wireless networks. Wireless is great once you got your security set, but I prefer wired because that is the most secure connection there is. And if I have a problem, all I have to do is pull the plug. I'll show you this plug right quick. It's on this right side. So I'm going to walk around to this right side plug goes down and that should just slip right in and it does and it pulled that little door down just just perfect and I've got two lights one light for connectivity gigabit and I've got another light over here showing drive activity but let's go back over to the actual computer and I'm going to pick which now says connected let's just go to next you're now connected now we'll check for any updates so if i hadn't had a network connection it wouldn't do this right now oh here we are sign in with microsoft now this is one of the reasons why you want to uh, start a computer without it two ways to set a computer up one sign in with a microsoft account i have i don't want to do that because i don't want all that stuff tied together like they're trying to do two you uh, uh do an offline account and i prefer an offline account and i'll show you the offline account keeps everything separate. I'm going to go to the offline account. So we're going to go to the next step. Sign in with Microsoft instead. I'm going to say, <laughs> no, don't want that. Did that for a reason. I'm going to say no. All the good stuff they want to do, I'm not interested in. Now we're going to create a user. Keyboard feels good. Okay. We're going to sign in. We're going to click on next. Wants to create a password. Do auto log on. No password. Make Cortana your personal assistant. No. 
That may be the default. I'm not going to use Cortana. Don't want Cortana. Now, privacy settings. All these settings on privacy, these are the defaults. I can use the defaults. I can go in and change this stuff later. I'm uh, not real gun ho with all this, but I don't have a problem with it either. But I can change it later real easily. So choose privacy settings for your device. Number one, location, which is on. Diagnostics full, I'm okay with that. Relevant ads, not interested in ads, but if they want to uh, send me ads that they think are pertinent, you know, fine. I can turn that off. Speak rec recognition is on. Uh, I, I mute it so it doesn't talk if I don't want it to. Because if I'm doing a program and I'm using it to do video with, I don't want that. Their need and my need are different. Your need may be different. The other tailored experiences with diagnostic data, that's all on. I'm okay with that. Again, I can change any of that at a later time. Uh, and I can learn more about it. I'll just go ahead and accept it. If it gets annoying, I'll turn it off later. Here we had register the product. So we're going to go ahead and register it. The advantages of registering are so that you can receive tech support. We're going to pick the region. How about USA? And they want an email address. Now, if I had gone in and created a done all this with a Microsoft account, it would automatically find that, put that together. You put in the account name and password and you go and you're, you're set a whole lot faster. I want all that stuff separate because I'm not always using this thing as they expect or perceive that you'll be using it. I've got my email address set, I've got my name, I've got my country. So I'll click on next and then share my contact details with HP. I'm registering the product, that's fine. Don't know if I'll ever contact HP. I don't expect to, but if I need to, I can. I'll know in 30 days if I'm going to hang out of this or not. Right now my plan is yes. Because uh, again, I think this is bang for the buck. HP may contact details with McAfee to set up my security software account. Uh, that's one thing I'm taking off. I have access to McAfee for free through Costco, through HP. That's not what I use. Again, I'm not worried about the CIA and I'm not worried about uh, the Russians. So I'll be using uh, Kaspersky on here. So I'm, I'm not worried about that. If they want to share it, fine. HP may email me personalized offers, uh, news and support updates. The support updates I want to know about, that's fine. Send them to me. I put that stuff on the filter anyway, so it's not an issue. Enable my PC to show HP contact options, warranty information, and important support miss. I'll go ahead with that for now. I'm good with it. I can always change that later. So we're going to click on next. At least I know what's going on. So register and protect. So we're going to go with that. Just a moment. We're doing services. Now it says hi. We're getting everything ready for you. We're letting it do its thing. Step back over to me for just a minute. And uh, I'll go back to that screen when the uh, computer comes back. For now, we'll go to camera number three. And there we are. It says it may take several minutes. We'll go back to that input. We just have to sit tight and uh, be patient. This might take several minutes. Don't turn off your PC. Yeah, now this is a, an important thing to note right now, this don't turn off your PC. At some point, your computer is going to have to have updates done. When those updates occur, your default profile for power is to shut things down. If you leave it that way when those updates are occurring, those updates will never finish. So when you have those updates that need to occur, you need to change your power profile to say, okay, keep the computer alive so things keep running, so those updates can occur, or else you're in that loop where you think something's happening and nothing's happening, and you don't know why. To reiterate, if your computer goes to sleep during updates, those updates won't finish. So make sure you're on power, and you change your power profile to stay on while you're on power. Those updates can occur and get done and be out of your way. It's going to happen whether you like it or not. A uh, little side note. Okay, we want everything to be ready for you. Don't, don't turn off your PC. Well, we're plugged in and we're ready and we're uh, on pins and needles. I'm excited about it. I like the screen. There is still a glare as I look at this from an angle. But again, I've got a uh, 1000 LED light in here with me. So, uh, ooh, that's pretty. Hadn't seen that one. Uh, you know, I love to visit that kind of country, but after I've been there, uh, don't want to live there. Give me three days, maybe a week, but I'd, I'd rather sweat. Shorts and flip-flops. That's what I prefer. So the desktop is up, and uh, we're now in Windows, and I've got one icon in the top. So uh, from my perspective, I need a mouse to get around. I can work with the keyboard, but I'm just not a... Uh, I'm just not a touchpad person. I always keep a spare mouse with me. We're going to plug in this mouse, see if we get a little bit better response out of me, out of me, the user. The tablet has a nice feel. I'm just not, I'm not that kind of touchy-feely. As we look at the ports, I can plug that in, in fact, right next to the HDMI, and I'll show you if you're in that need or have, or have need occasionally. Plug something like this. I've got first the power tap in. 
I've got the HDMI and in between that is a USB port. So I'm going to plug that mouse into that USB port. So I'm going to click on out of that right now too. HP Jump Start. It's going to tell me about Windows 10. If you're new to a computer, find it on the start menu. Glad to know about that. If I install a new drive, I won't see any of that. I could reformat the drive. What I need to do is take advantage of the opportunities available to me here with this particular drive. And I'll have a one-time opportunity with this burner to create rescue disks. I strongly encourage, once you get your computer set up, create those rescue disks. It's a one-time deal. Do it. I'm going to create those rescue disks with this. It would allow me to restore the machine to the factory default. Everybody should have a set of rescue disks, installed disks, both for the burner and for USB, and uh, recovery disks. That's three different sets of disks, and in the future, we're going to be going through that at Builder Buy. The first Wednesday of every month, we talk about cloning, imaging, and backup, doing one of those three. And I'll be using this laptop to cover those issues. Jump start this screen. I'm going to close it. I want to get the buttons up that I like to see. It's a clean desktop. I appreciate that. I get that. But for a lot of reasons, I want those buttons back up. I'm going to right click, personalize. I'm going to go to themes. And over here on the right, desktop icon settings. And I want all my desktop icons. I'll close that screen. I have to double click. So I'm going to go into the control panel. I'm going to make several changes. First one I'm going to do, I'm going to change this to small icons and see everything at a glance. We're looking at HP 17-inch, uh, HP Envy 17-inch uh, laptop notebook. Uh, nice, nice piece of hardware. Uh, I think it's going to do everything we need. And I think it's going to do what uh, Manolo needs. This is the computer over at uh, Costco. 17-inch display, 16 gigs of memory, and a one terabyte hard drive. That's an HP Envy 17T laptop, Intel Core i7 with 4 gig NVIDIA graphics 1080. And the actual number with HP that's on the box is an HP Envy 17-U275CL. This is Builder By. Hope you enjoyed this about the laptop. We're going to have some more information to share. This was an unboxing, but I went a little bit further than the unboxing. And uh, some of this we're going to show, some of it we're going to share, and some of it we're going to be talking about in the coming weeks of Builder By. So hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day. Thanks for joining us. And if you found this information helpful, uh, we'd appreciate if you would uh, subscribe. Thumbs up would be appreciated. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe. My name is Gil Boyd with Builder By. I hope you enjoyed this. We'll look forward to seeing you uh, in the coming weeks. And uh, thanks for your support. Have a great day.